So you're out there camping, and you wake up in your tent all nice, warm and cozy, and you see this. A huge grizzly bear. What are you going to pull out? What type of sidearm? In this video, we're going to compare the massive Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum, and we're also going to take a look at the incredible Ruger Super Red Hawk Alaskan. Now, a lot of people buy these massive guns for a couple of reasons. Maybe you want to take out a massive bear, or other reasons. Here's another one for you. Hmm. Maybe you got this guy coming at you. A couple of his friends are behind him. Some of them weigh three, four hundred pounds. You don't want to mess around. You want one shot, one kill. You want to pull out the largest, most powerful, massive production sidearm on the planet. Whether it be the 500 Magnum and the 454 awesome revolvers that's what we're going to do in this video is we're going to compare the two thank you smith and wesson for making the 500 magnum you are looking at the es the 500 magnum snubby three inch barrel no longer produced by smith and wesson i'm glad i have it but you can get the four inch we're going to talk all about the 500 magnum and the 454 when I purchased this, it came with this incredible kit here, the Emergency Survival Toolkit. We'll briefly look at that, and in this video, we're going to look at both guns close up, and we're also going to look at some range footage where I shoot them. We're going to have some fun with this. Let's take a look at the Ruger. Two beautiful revolvers, the most powerful production revolvers on the planet. Let's look at the Ruger. Super Red Hawk Alaskan. What a beautiful sight. The Super Red Hawk Alaskan by Ruger shoots the 454 Casol and also the 45 Long Colt. So, in this video, we're going to compare the two. I love them both, they're totally incredible. I want to do one more thing before we finish the intro. I want to show you the size comparison of uh of the ammo it's just so incredible let's do that right now so check those three hollow points out on the left the 500 magnum the most powerful production sidearm in the world in the middle the 454 casole these are all hollow points and on the right our beloved 45 ACP is dwarfed. I'm telling you, these two guns can take down anything on the planet. And I'm talking about anything. Let's get into it. Welcome to WeaponsEducation.com. So here we are talking about the two most powerful production sidearms in the world. The Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum and the Ruger 454 Casol, which also shoots the 45 Long Colt. Take a look at this kit here, please. And this is no longer available. I saw it today on GunsAmerica.com for about $1,250. It's probably already sold by now. But this is very rare, and I'm glad I purchased it. This is the 3-inch 500 Magnum. Now, I must say, this is not for the normal person. <laughs> when you shoot this, and we're going to go into some range footage here in a moment, it hits every nerve in your body. And I'm talking about recoil, concussion. And I'm also saying if you're going to shoot a 500 Magnum at the range, please, please tell everybody at the range that you're about to shoot this because the noise and concussion is massive. This is, this is just an unbelievable piece of craftsmanship. A lot of steel here. As a matter of fact, let's weigh it. I got a scale here, and I'll tell you what this weighs compared to the 454 digital scale 3.4 pounds. 
This is a lot of steel. The 454, which I love, also shoots the 45 long Colt. Let's weigh this one here. 2.1 pounds. So there's a different weight. Let's look at why there's a different weight. Please take a close zoom in closely here and look at the cylinders on each one. Real close. Look at how massive the 500 Magnum is. Isn't that incredible? Well, of course, we've got a three inch barrel and we have a shorter barrel here with, with the Ruger, but not much shorter. And these cylinders are really a lot different. The 500 Magnum is really a, a massive chunk of steel. Let's do this right now. Let's roll into some footage of when I was at the range and I shot the 500 Magnum. I want to say this while, while it's on my mind. In the beginning, when I first started shooting this, I almost like didn't like it because it was like so much pain, literally pain on your fingers, your thumbs, your tendons. And then after 50 rounds, I started to realize it's not too bad. After 100 rounds, I, I think it's kind of cool. And now after about 150 rounds, it's very expensive to shoot, by the way. I mean, these rounds are somewhere like a dollar a round. Very expensive. Now, I'm pretty comfortable with it. And, you know, it's not, of course, a sidearm that you would carry around for personal self-defense. But for home protection, I don't know. I, I have no problem just shooting this now. I know what to expect. I guess that's the point I'm trying to make. I know what to expect from the 500 Magnum or the 454. The recoil is kind of similar because the weight difference. Yes, the 500 Magnum is, is a bigger round and it's got a lot more steel. And the 454, less steel, but very powerful. Almost the same recoil, 500 is a little bit more. I would get the 500 in the four inch barrel. Let's roll right into a really cool scene here where I was shooting this and notice how, you know how you put a round sticker on a piece of cardboard, you know, for your target? Watch how it like pops off and then comes down like an inch. And then watch how the cardboard, which I put up into these binder clips, tight as cardboard, just gets blown away. Let's roll right into that right now. Okay, so if, if something happens, like or if I just like get a heart attack from the, from the concussion and the sound, let, let her know that I accept all responsibilities. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Oh boy. yards or so. Alright, what do I got? Three rounds left? Oh boy. Oh boy. cardboard in there tight all the way to the top that last time. I don't have nothing else to shoot at. That was pretty cool. One of the cool factors about owning a massive revolver like the 454 or the 500 Magnum is the joy of just shooting three, four, five rounds at the end of your range time. And that's why I like these guns. Some people like it for hunting, personal defense, but really I like it for at the range and just getting the thrill of the massive recoil and it goes through every ounce of your body. I want to show you a comparison here. 
This is a 500, of course, and here, extra large frame, and here is the smaller, the smallest frame that Smith makes, and this is a 357 at a mere 23 ounces. 357 Magnum. Look at the difference in frame sizes. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? You don't realize the girth of the 500 Magnum until you hold it in your hands. They're about $1,200 or so. Now let's talk about shooting both of these, both of these outside, and I want to show you some range footage where we both shot, a friend of mine and I, we both shot them together, and he, before we shot the guns, he was like, oh, come on, it's just a revolver. It's the, the recoil can't be all that much. It's a lot. It's a lot. But once you get used to it, it's a lot of fun. Let's roll into that footage right now. It's the first time you shoot the 500 snub nose Magnum? That's right. I told him it's got a little bit of a kick, but he didn't believe me, right? I believe you. We're going to do a comparison here. I got the 454 Casul. He's got the 500 Magnum at five shots. I have six. He's going to shoot from right to left. I'm going to shoot from left to the right. And then we're going to talk about it. <laughs> See what happens. I'm going to start with that can of beans on the left. I'll go three, two, one. All right. And then we start shooting. Three, two, one. Man, Think of it. It kicks a lot more than this, you thought, this right? This gun is for Jurassic Park. Okay? <laughs> I told you, every nerve in your body, right? Yep. And, and now you said it wouldn't have much kick, but then no. now you just <laughs> shot it. That's what's bad, isn't much. it? This is too now much. Would you like All right, so I'm comparing two American icon guns. The Ruger, amazing manufacturer. We all love Ruger. Smith & Wesson, same thing. Two massive, beautiful pieces of steel. And revolvers do cost more money to manufacture than semi-automatics. Which one should you get? Uh, that's, that's up to you. That's like asking me which child is my favorite child. That's impossible. I love them both. If you want the opportunity to shoot the 454 and the 45 Long Colts, well then, the Ruger is for you. If you want brute, massive, most powerful production gun in the world, and you can get used to the recoil, and trust me, you can. It's going to take about 100 rounds, and I only shoot these four or five times at a time when I go to the range. So it's going to take a lot of trips to the range, but when you're used to the recoil, it's, it's no big deal, actually, even on a snubby. The snubby, get the four inch or even bigger. I've shot them all. I have a video out there with the Performance Center. It's like a 10 inch barrel, and that still has a lot of kick. The 500 Magnums have massive kicks. The 454, a little bit lighter weight, massive kicks. Does shoot the 45 Long Colt. I just wanted to bring you a video and show you two beautiful American muscle guns. Muscle guns. Talk about muscle cars. These are muscle guns. And for the rest of your life and your children's life and all your heirlooms and your, your family tree, they're going to have these. And they're going to be worth money in the future. Oh, and by the way, yes, the orange is stock. That's how it comes. It matches the kit. I would go with both. <laughs> Thank you. Please subscribe. Tom, weaponseducation.com. Please do not, do not forget about the gun forum, weaponseducation.net. It's doing great. A lot of you are on there typing away, and we're all interacting. It's a lot of fun. So we got weaponseducation.net and weaponseducation.com on YouTube. Have a great day, and thank you so much.